hello and welcome along to this Poundland haul. I hope you're okay and sending lots of love to you. Hope you've had a nice week. It's such a gorgeous day today. I mean, it's really cold still, but the uh, the sun's out, there's blue skies and it feels quite spring, springy. Spring is in the air. I'm filming this on, well, it's the morning it's going to be going out like in a couple of hours. So it's the 22nd of, 27th of January today. I've left it till today to film. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you like seeing all the bargains that I found in Poundland over the last week or so. I've got some bargain bargains as well some things that were reduced so I've got some really good finds so I was very excited to film this video I was gonna wait till next week but then I couldn't I couldn't wait I was like no it needs to go on now um right so all kinds of things from food to uh plant pots and some cosmetics and a really nice looking bowl lovely bowl that was one pound fifty that was full price so some really good things nothing over two pounds actually in this haul so so that's good but before i get into it i hope you're okay i've already said that haven't i a big hello and welcome along to you i'm going to do my mug of the day and this is a beautiful kath kidston mug or cup would you say this is a cup i know it's cup shape but it's mug size so let me know in the comments um couple mug or cug no that's an ugly word it's a cug no i won't really call you a cug you're a lovely mug what do you reckon I'll, shall i say cup it feels wrong i don't know this is so cute though i got this in a charity shop recently so i did do a charity shop haul of kind of come shopping with me and i picked this up from um cancer research uk in great yarmouth it's Kath Kidson original one. It's gorgeous. So this is my mug cup of the day. And I've got the water. I went out for breakfast this morning with my friend. It was like a last minute thing. And I thought, oh, that'd be lovely. And we had such a good time. And um, we had a really good chat. You know, when you get into like really good, deep conversations. And then I had uh, like the strong filter coffee and it was really strong. So yeah, it's a, it's a, I'm used to just normally, normal pod coffee. Whenever I have like filter coffee, I swear that's stronger than like, you know, the normal little, coffees or like cappuccinos must be it's more concentrated or something so yeah I thought I can I can do it I can film it the time I think it's nearly 12 o'clock now um so I thought I can film I can get this done in time especially because I've had this too strong coffee for me right so I'm going to start off with food and then I'll get into everything else food cosmetic -y bits and then like toiletries and then homey decor bits, I think. And I'll be throwing in the bargains along the way. So I'm going to start off with some... I mean, I always buy these. Sorry if I, it's... Uh, these always pop up in literally every haul I do. But I do like these. And I, I eat these. These are like my, my puddings. These Skinny Dream bars. Um, I buy all kinds of different ones of these. And I always have to have two. These are the Rocky Road ones. And they're down to a pound. I don't know, reduce or anything. They just are a pound these days. They used to be one pound fifty, so I didn't used to get the Rocky Road ones. But now they're a pound. I thought I'd get some. You get five in each packet, and I think they're great. So I got three of those, three packets of those. Also some Belvita biscuits. I really like these ones as well. And I've said this before. I normally buy these. Actually, they're only a pound too. You get six bags in here, so it's really good value, and you get tons of loads of um, mini biscuits in them. So I tend to always buy those. Some Jaffa cakes, Toby loves Jaffa cakes, he takes them off to football and shares them with his friends. So I got him some Jaffa cakes. I think these were a pound as well. And there's 24 in there. And these, I haven't seen these before. These um, like, they look like chocolate bars, but they're slightly healthier, I think. So these are Galaxy ones. We did have Snickers and Mars but we've eaten them. So I had two other packets to see what they were like. And actually they all taste the same. So I don't know if you've tried these yet. They taste quite sort of raw um, because they're obviously they're not like a, they've got Galaxy chocolate on them and Mars chocolate and Snickers, but they kind of taste quite similar. So it says on here, over 75% fruit and nut, high in fiber. So they're obviously much better for you than, you know, just normal chocolate. They've got dates, raisins, um, it says date and raisin peanut bar dipped and drizzled with milk, chocolate, fruit, nut and chocolate. So I thought I would try them and they taste, they are, they are nice. They're not, they don't taste like a proper chocolate bar. They do taste quite healthy, but they're really nice. So I thought we'd try them and you get four in each one, but they're quite small. So me, Toby and Lee have eaten all the others. They were a pound. I don't know if they've gone up now, but I got them... Um, I looked on my receipt and they were a pound. 
so they might be either a pound or one pound fifty but they're nice they're, they're um yeah they're nice they're just not like don't be expecting a you know proper galaxy chocolate bar because they taste uh they're nice they're like more healthy hello rufus rufus has just come up is it because i was talking about food yeah no just come here he's just watching me from the landing hello right so that's all the food actually so not loads um i've got some bits and bobs here on oh, a really nice um some really lovely looking shampoo and conditioners so i normally buy these i've been using these nivea day cream and night creams for the last i don't know year or so and i also use the poundland um anti-aging one and i've got some of them coming up because they're i think they're a bargain well they could have been normal price but i'll get to that in a bit so these were two pounds or two pounds fifty each and they're just little like tubes of moisturizer i really like them they agree with my skin and um, this is the day cream it's got spf 15 in it and it's 50 mils so tend to use it up quite quickly actually that's the day cream and the soothing night cream is really nice so two of those Nivea moisturizers they had a little section in my Poundland in Great Yarmouth the um like retail park Poundland it's really good and they had a section and I got quite a lot from it actually because it was all really reduced and these bath salts were down to a pound so I saw them before Christmas you probably you know if you go to Poundland a lot you've probably seen these on the shelves you might have maybe bought them as a present or something or for yourself i think they were four pounds originally or three pounds i'm not sure it's a really nice like glass bottle and i think they look quite expensive and um quite a posh little bottle really nice like on the side of of the bath won't it these were a pound each so i got two of them two of these little bath salts and on here it says forest wild white flowers bath salts Unwind with scents of white flowers, sandalwood, violet. Did I say violet? Violet. I said violin then. Um, and musk. So it sounds very nice. I would get into, can I get into them? My nails are so short. I had some gel nails done uh, when I was away. And then I did them again. I think it's just made my nails a bit weak. So they've all like chipped and broken. Oh, oh it's really easy to open. So I don't think I'd be able to take the lid off. Oh, that made a noise. Do you want to have a smell? What do you think? Do you like it? Let's have a smell. That's really nice, actually. It smells relaxing. It smells, it's just, it's quite clean, soap-like. Yeah, very like nice and fresh. I like that, it smells really nice. So um, I'll put those, uh, in my bathroom and use them i have got some other salts but i thought i would grab these and i might give that other one away as a little gift to someone quite a nice gift who did a little um like camper or something and then so they, yeah they were down to a pound so i had to get a couple of those also where i put the other one did i buy two of these no i think i only got one one of these um candles these were down to one pound fifty so these are the stacy solomon range winter walks and so yeah, they were down to £1.50. And I had the uh, diffuser. So I think I got that from Home Bargains, or it could have been Poundland, like before Christmas. And it's really nice. So it's such a nice scent. It just smells of Christmas. So I might put that away and then get that out sort of nearer Christmas. Nearer Christmas is ages away. Or I might just use it because it's just lovely. I do love all like the piney. It smells of pine, piney winter walks. It's... um. It's lovely, very cute. So £1.50 for those. Um, I thought I got two, but I don't know. The other one's hiding somewhere. And then this was a bargain, but I've noticed I've got a little, oh, it's got a bit of, it's got a mark on it there, which I didn't see, or I might've even done that, I don't know. But this was £1.50, this little plant pot, and it came with this stand. So it was originally £3, so it was half price. So it goes on there. And that's a little plant pot so that was down to £1.50 but I'm probably not going to use this section that part and just have it as a as a plant pot because it's quite nice and pink <laughs> but it's kind of spring spring colours isn't it and quite fresh and bright and um, so I thought I would get that so I can put a little I've got some um hyacinths I think that's pretty sure that's what they're called and they're in like a cardboard pot it's from Tesco so I can probably put them in here or pop the pot, put the pot um, straight into here. Who 
extremely pretty. They were £1.50, which I thought was really good. They had quite a few. I think they had some other colours. I think they had a grey and something else, but uh, maybe a white. I don't know. I think there's definitely grey and obviously pink because I got that one. Right, so that's all of that stuff. And then down here, I got this really cute little succulent. So they, they had loads of them, actually. They were a pound. And I got the tallest one, the tallest, healthiest looking one. It says 5.5 centimetres and it's a pound. So I thought I would get one of those. They're nice. I love having a few of these like dotted about. We've got them in our um, downstairs loo on the like shelf. I'll put it in here for now. This is also from Poundland, this little plant pod. That was a pound and they had them in white and grey. So you can see that it just says plant pot, lovely woven plant pot. So that's the white one that they had. So I got the dark grey because I thought it was just, um, it was a little bit nicer. Just went for the grey. So really pretty. I might put that in our kitchen or probably the bathroom. Oh, maybe the toilet or the bathroom with the salts. You guys can, can hang out together and look lovely. So a pound for the pot and a pound for the plant. And then also more bargains. Ah! Oh, I dropped the bargain on the floor. These were down to £1.50. Oh, it's that way, isn't it? There's 300 millilitres. It's wool light, wool light, wool light. Um, infused with natural essential oil, in wash scent booster, 30 essential oils, perfume for clothes, powered by Airwick fragrance. And it's um refreshing meadow with lemongrass and jasmine. So this is gonna, it smells, even through that, it's not even open. It smells so good, I've just got my lipstick on it. Sorry about that, in wash scent booster. It smells lovely. So if my clothes smell like that, I'll be very happy. So two of those and they were, you get 300 millilitres in them, £1.50 each. So really good value. This was 75p, this little, um, what are, what are you called? Clean up your act, scour, sponge scour. So obviously it just, you wash your dishes like that. I don't know what this hand is doing. So you wash your dishes. So it's got the spongy side and then the the harder side over here and this is my last bargain bargain from Poundland I'm pretty sure they're a bargain um I think were these up for three pounds before they were down to two pounds so I don't know if that's the normal price or if they were on offer because they were in the offer section they were two pounds but it didn't say what they were before and I couldn't remember but it's really good value and I really like this stuff as well so I use this and I use um the Nivea uh, moisturizers but I do really like these it smells really um, expensive and I, I don't know if that makes sense but it smells when you put it on your face it smells really nice and I've got quite sensitive skin but it, it's happy with this it agrees with it you like it don't you skin so this is the number six retinol collection fight visible signs of aging with blah 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 so you've got a day cream with SPF 25 which is good retinol night cream and the facial clay mask so in here you get a set of three for two pounds which is brilliant because they're two pound fifty each i got these at the end though they're already in my basket um but that's what you get i have bought this before i haven't actually used that one yet so i think i ended up donating it or did i might have car booted it so i might just i probably will end up just giving that one away but these ones I use, the day cream and the night cream, but how good is that for two pounds? A couple of like valentines -y, well, it's actually just one Valentine's bit actually. They did have quite a big section, but I didn't need anything, but I thought this was very cute, this little heart chalkboard. So I thought I would get that, it was only a pound. Really cute, you get chalk as well at the back. So yeah, I can use that for anything really, write a little message on there or maybe use it when we have our little wedding party next year in our garden or just thought it was cute, so I thought I would grab that little heart chalkboard. And this was in the Valentine's section, this little basket. They had a few different colours, but I thought I would get this one because I thought it'd be really nice with some flowers in here. So you can do a little, if you have some little plant pots, it might get a bit messy. Or maybe I can put a little bag in the bottom and then put some little primrose plants in or something. I've got some little daffodils, I think they'll look really cute in here. And it was pound fifty, so it's already been painted little hamper basket obviously you can make up you can do a little valentine's day gift in here whatever you want i thought just thought it'd be really nice for easter and for spring flowers so one pound fifty for that and i'm on to my final item it's this really big bowl and it was only one pound fifty which is such a good price isn't it for a big glass bowl i really like the shape 
So I think I may use that as more of a vase. You know, if you have a whole load of flowers, you could have them, you know, coming out of every, you need quite a lot, wouldn't you, to fill that? Or maybe some spring bulbs or whatever, really, or a little fruit bowl or something. I don't know, it's just a really nice um, bowl, a really nice shape, so I thought I would grab that. And, um, and bring it home with me. Just says on the bottom, bowl. Wash um, before first use, not suitable for microwave use. And don't put it in the freezer. Suitable for the dishwasher though. So actually be really nice with a salad or lemon, like lemon sin or something, or just a fruit bowl. Just use it for whatever, it's just a bowl. So it's quite a nice size and yeah, I just really like this shape. So that's my final item in this haul, my lovely big glass bowl. So I thought that was really good for £1.50. And that is everything. That is the end of the video. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love it if you would. That would be very kind. And come over to Instagram as well. If you're not really following on Instagram, I'm Kate McCabe and my house account is called Kate's Georgian Home. And I shall link them below in the description box, along with my videos that I filmed recently. What did I do last week? Oh, I was a charity shop haul. So I got some brilliant bargains. Most of them were 50p actually. So I'll link that below. Plus some videos I filmed recently I'll link them all down in the description box so if you haven't watched them you're more than welcome to go and um, catch up but thank you so much for watching this one I shall see you next week I haven't shown you these yet oh my goodness it's about to go I haven't even finished the haul so look how lovely these shampoo and conditioners are I saw them and I was like oh wow look at that so these are bloom and blossom which I haven't actually heard of but it looks like quite a posh uh, make sorry I nearly finished the video and I haven't even shown you these they say they're roll dull. They're like roll dull um, shampoo and conditioners. So bloom and blossom, bath, book and bedtime. Sensitive for uh, sensitive, safe for sensitive skin. It just says for your little dreamers. And then you've got um, snipper. It's called snapper whippers shampoo, suitable for human beings from titchy little ones to jumbly giants. So it's roll dolls BFGs shampoo 200 millilitres just so sweet i saw that and thought oh my goodness that looks so cute i had to get it and i had to show you i'll have a whiff i don't smell of anything can you smell no i think because it's sensitive it doesn't really smell of anything natural ingredients gentle on skin worry free that looks lovely doesn't it so cute look at that on the back so lovely so i got two yeah, two shampoos. They were a pound each, which is really good, isn't it? And some conditioner. So another BFG conditioner. And this one just says Whoopsie Whiffling Conditioner. 200 millilitres. And this one is uh, Miss Honey's Conditioner. So they had a few different ones. So Matilda, BFG and a few other ones. So yeah, have a look if you like the look of it. They had some different shampoo and conditioners. And there's Mrs. Trunchbull on the back there. So that really is the end of the haul. If you did have a favourite item, add it in the comments below. I really like everything. I think um, these are lovely and they smell great. The little basket's very cute. And I just think these are so lovely, these shampoo and conditioners. So nice, aren't they? What a great... Um, Things to find in Poundland, just, yeah, really cute, lovely, love things like that. So let me know your favourite item. If you have one, pop it in the comments and I will speak to you next week at two o'clock. Not sure what video I've got coming up, so it might be a vlog or it might be a B&M haul or maybe a mixture of the two or home bargains, something like that. But there will be a video, like always, um, every Friday at two o'clock. Have a lovely weekend and I'll speak to you next week. Take care. Bye bye.